Hi everyone. Wow, what an honor and a privilege to be a part of this beautiful appointed night. Um, thank you to Miss Jody for allowing me the opportunity to be able to come on here and share my story. I love God's goodness and I think this is just such an amazing night where you come together and are able to worship and just be in awe of God and what he's doing in the countless lives. Um, it's just really awesome to be a part of and thank you again. Even though I'm here virtually, I feel you. It's good. Um, my name is Tristan and this is my story. So a little bit of background about me. I grew up in a Christian household, so I was able to grow up with like-minded Christian people the may, most of my life. So I'm 20 now, and even though, you know, we had struggles and stuff, life happens, um, God just always enters in and just is always right there where we need him to be. And um, it's just really cool to come into agreement with that and, and to be together in that. Um, but even though I had this knowledge of knowing who God was and what he's done in circumstances, your mind still wonders. There's still the flesh, right? Um, the end of August, this August, early September, was probably the most weirdest time of my life. Um, and what I mean by that is I just was going through the motions and there was no reason for it. It wasn't a situation that upset me or put me astray or it wasn't anything like that. It was just all mental. It was all in my head. And I really allowed it to get to a point where um, it became disrespectful, uh, not just at home, but at work and it bled into relationships and things. And that's when I started realizing and coming to terms with I need a change and I know who to go to for that change so here we go I was in desperation it's kind of like the lady in the bible who bled for years and was just out of desperation she was just like Jesus you know coming into her town and just if I touch the hem of his garment then I'll be healed you know believing for her healing in just that out of desperation and that's where I was. I was at that place where I was willing and open to do anything to get out of this um, feeling of just ickiness all the way around, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, so September 7th, I came home after work and got my camera out and did a video announcing my 30 day change and what it was, what was all gonna come from it and what I was gonna do with it, what I was expecting from it. Um, and I was really expecting a renewal of the mind um, in all ways, again, physically, spiritually, mentally speaking, and obviously health goals, you know, working out, eating right, you know, those things that we like, we try to implement in our life. Um, but this time I was really trying to be very intentional with being yielding to the voice of God. And that was the big thing was like, I really need to have him in my circumstances, not just when I need him, because I need him in all things. Because where I am weak, he is made strong and I'm weak. So I need him in all things. Um, and I get to have him in all things. And that's where my mind was. I just really needed to start that dialogue up of allowing him into my day-to-day -day circumstances, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, and just, just seeking his face, asking him questions, you know, just remembering that he's always there. He's never left me and he will not forsake me. Um, just remembering that. And so I did that video on September 7th, September 8th. I did a follow-up video, just kind of the progress of it all. And September 9th is where everything changed for my good, <laughs> I like to say. I was driving to work. Uh, it was a very rainy, crazy day out. Um, and I was just driving and all of a sudden a car was trying to switch lanes and uh, lost control of his vehicle and spun and just hit me. Um, I hit the back of his truck. Luckily, it wasn't a head-on collision but uh, I was unconscious, so I actually don't remember any of that. Praise God, that was God for sure, um, going before me. 
which this is a theme going before me. Um, and I, you know, got rushed straight to the hospital, had a compound fracture, broke my tibia and my femur as well as my kneecap and cartilage underneath. Um, so I had some extensive surgeries um, and those those week those two weeks were very uh, I don't remember um, at all until one day I was here I am at an inpatient rehab part of the hospital in my hospital bed kind of starting to get out of the drugs and stuff that I was on and realizing why am I here no one told me why I was there. I wasn't told anything because my parents were advised not to, just in case. And so I was so upset. I was furious. I was angry. I was mad. I was confused. I didn't understand. I just wanted to get up to go to the bathroom. I tried to do that. Fell right on my face twice um, from the hospital bed. And nurse had to grab me and get me in. They just remembered me at the start of it as just weeping and crying and confused and frustrated and somewhat combative. And then God entered in and God spoke to my dad to come and talk to me. Because God knows how I work. I have to know the why. Once I understand the why, I'm able to overcome it. And so my dad was very careful because he was advised, you know, not to, but he just kept feeling this pulling of the Lord. You've got to tell her everything. She's got to know everything. And as soon as my dad and I had that conversation in that room, everything changed. It was like a 180 transformation. Um, it was just like, okay, here we go. And I'm not doing it alone. God, let's do this thing. And um, I began to transform obviously physically but like I was dream I was hoping for with that change video mentally and spiritually I started seeing God in ways that I never have seen God in before if it wasn't for this opportunity that I've been able to overcome and I'm still overcoming but the craziest thing is just even in the midst of feeling lonely or discomfort I could just feel this presence that you just could not say anything else. You just knew God was there. God was in the room. He goes before me. Every morning I would wake up with a renewed strength that can only come from him. Not, no, no pill could give me that. No, no amount of sleep could give me that. It was only from him. It was just this rushing wind of God that was transforming my mind every day. I was able to see God in the everyday life. Not just from me, not just like, oh, the, he helped me with that little small victory that I wasn't able to do because also my left side was not working. It was not moving. Now it's moving somewhat. I'm still going to therapy for that. But even when I was able to pick up something with my hand, I was like, God, that was God in it. That was God. God just helped me do that. That, that was my weakness. And my weakness, he has made strong. That was God. Um, but I was also able to see God move in patients' lives across the way. Also allowed to see him move in therapists and doctors and nurses and surgeons. It was just the crazy, it's the coolest thing. Um, and how God just shows up and shows out. Nothing is too big, nothing is too small for God. There'd be times where I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm asking for this dumb thing of I have to go to the bathroom and I can't go, okay? Even that to me would be small to ask God. But man, do I feel him right there. Helping me with that relief. I come today sharing this story because I'm still in therapy. I'm still working on things. Um, I will soon be able to walk again. But if I tell you, I'm gonna sound like a crazy person, but I don't care. I feel like the most richest person because I don't only serve amazing God, but dang what he's done to tell us of other people's lives. Like also in my story of what he's done with these people in my life, they're being transformed as well and being touched. And it's not by me, it's by just God himself because he's showing out in such a way. and. I just feel this has been the most richest 
beautiful, purest, amazing time. I am not who I used to be. And I praise God for that. Not that I was bad, but it was just, I finally was able to fix my eyes, not on the carnal way of thinking or the world's way of thinking, but I finally was allowed to shift my eyes onto, what are you doing today, God? Not just in my life, but what are you gonna do for that person over there? Can I be a part of it? Can I take part? Being yielding to that voice is super fun. It's super fun, it's not a task. It's that dialogue with him, because we're allowed to have that, because the veil has been torn. We're allowed to have that intimacy with him because he lives within us. That's the beauty, that's the amazement, that's the awe and wonder of who he is. That's what I just sit in awe about, just that alone. But man, what he's done for me is, it's life changing and I'm very, very blessed by it. And I pray for you that God would minister to your heart because he knows every hair on the top of your head. He created you fearfully and wonderfully. And so he knows what you need. He knows, he knows before you even ask, it says in his word. He knows what you need and he knows how you receive things. And so allow God to enter into your circumstance, good, bad, or indifferent today, and see him at work. Shift the perspective, shift your eyes on him for he cares for you. That's what I would like to leave you with today.